in the kitchen. Chad January is here with me because we're about to whip up some southern fried chicken wings. I mean, this is amazing. This is exciting because I love chicken wings. And what better to start this Friday with? And I mean, deep fried. This is amazing. Exactly so it's so. all exactly. about the batter. Yes, it is. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a twist to it. So we're going to do a little bit of a, z a lime zest salt. Ooh, so you can start okay. with the salt. So just in your pestle and mortar, get some coarse salt. There we go. We're going to do some lime zest. And then for some herbs, I'm just adding in some thyme. You let just add them in and pound go. them together. Make sure that it goes nice and green, though. Okay. And I'm going to start on the marinade for our chicken. So firstly, we're going to like separate our chicken wings into the drummets and the wingets, right? Okay. Then we're going to add in our buttermilk. So this is what's going to make it all nice and delicious. Some sriracha just for a little bit of bite, so you know, a little bit of spice. We like a little bit of bite. Just we tell do. me, if you don't have buttermilk at home, is there a way to tweak it or is it I'd best say to... use some yogurt. Use some yogurt, Some okay. yogurt would be lovely, yeah. And then we're just going to add in some grated garlic. There we go. And then, of course, salt and pepper. Always remember to season quite generously. You do want to season quite generously. I don't think there's anything like too, bland like too chicken. much. Nobody Ooh, wants bland no chicken. No one wants bland chicken. Right, so you so said, I must just mush this. Just mush it all together. So, so this is exactly what the marinade looks like. So Ooh. what I like to do is to leave this overnight. Okay. So it tenderizes nicely. Oh, fantastic. And then we go over to our flour mixture. Now, I like a lot of bit of flavor in the flour. So I'm adding in some oregano some garlic powder, Ooh. and then a bit of paprika, because like we said, we like a little bit of, yes, of bite. Yes, we want that bite. I have to say, I yes. discovered the beauty of garlic powder and onion powder. Oh, it's Chicken amazing. Chicken is mm. unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. So this is the important part, so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of our buttermilk mixture, right? And we're going to add it to our flour mixture. So what this does, is we're gonna spread it together nicely with a fork and we're gonna create those flakes. Ooh, the and extra. Exactly, now this is a trick that I learned from the legendary Zola Nene. Okay. All right, so what this does is adding that little bit of liquid into our flour mixture Crisp. creates those nice flakes and that's what crisps up so nicely Ooh. when we fry it. And that's what you want when you exactly. fry fried chicken. So you can see those nice flakes on top all perfectly and then literally pop it in into your flour Dip it into your hot oil, like there we're going to we do go. right now, and this is what they'll look like. You can obviously pop this in the fridge if you want, just to firm up and crisp up nicely. And here we is go. Is this something you can pop into an air fryer, or do you, you need can. the oil? No, definitely. An air fryer is, is much better, especially if you're trying to cut down on the amount of oil that okay. you're using. And will it become the same, like crispiness? I almost feel it like... will. Okay. It really will. Um, one thing that I do want to add, though, is when you are deep frying, if you want to check your oil, I always just add in a few popcorn kernels. Okay. So if they rise up in a couple of seconds, that means that your oil is ready. That's or you can nice add in um, some crusts of bread, and as soon as they go nice, light, and golden, then they are perfect. Then you know it's ready. So you can see Zoe, these are <gasps> Look at that. browning beautifully. Oh, my gosh. Just as this, I'm actually just going to pop them out. You want to pass that to me? There we go. And then you've got your salt ready there, Zoe. I do have the salt. I don't know if I mushed it enough. Let's have a look. I'm sure you did. Can't you just use fine salt? <laughs> you can. You can, or you can just use flake salt. They, they work a little bit easier. There we Let's go. Let's have a look, oh, see this there. Heavy. Oh, that's beautiful. And there then we literally, go. we're just going to season. Oh, that looks right good. Right that. And then all you have to do, serve it up with your favorite uh, dipping sauce. I feel like we need right to invite this. Paul in to come and taste. Wasty, come and Ooh, have a taste because do. this delicious yes. recipe chicken, is available on our website. You can really? find it at expressoshow.com. We need to hear the crunch. Okay, okay. very quickly. Okay. So crunch, crunch. So no just, dip. You just want to hear crunch, right? Just, just crunch first. Okay, crunch, ready? Crunch. Go for it. Mm. Ooh, I heard crunch. that. Oh. Winner? Mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Literally. Oh my word. Okay, well, listen, this is incredible, Chad. Yes. Thank you for this delicious southern Pleasure. fried chicken with a hint of lime. That is incredible. Our recipe is available on our website. That's expressoshow.com.